Do you think accountability in a leader is rare? I think that, you know, we all demonstrate accountability, let's hope, to a certain degree. I think that people in leadership positions probably think that they are more accountable than they really are because, you know, there's evidence like, hey, I'm successful. I must be an accountable person because I'm successful. And there is some truth to that for sure. Um, But there are some things that leaders can do to that they can demonstrate a higher standard of accountability. And it's critically important that they do because leaders set the upper limit of accountability for their organization. Nobody's going to demonstrate accountability to a higher degree than their leader. So leaders need to make darn sure that they're setting a very high limit for the rest of their organization to follow. So how can you identify an organization that has a culture of accountability from one that does not? You know, actually, earlier I talked about blame being the opposite of accountability. In many respects, it is. And I would say from a cultural standpoint, I would put accountability and blame on the same spectrum um, when it comes to uh, organizational cultures. You have a culture of accountability on one end of the spectrum and a culture of blame on the other end of the spectrum. And I think some of the things that you'll see in uh, a culture of blame is an unwillingness to say, you know what, that was my bad. And here's what I'm going to do to fix it. You'll see an unwillingness in in, uh, employees to receive feedback and they will aggressively challenge any feedback. You'll see a lot of finger pointing. You'll see a lot of discord within teams um, because uh, because of the blame that's going on, the finger pointing that's going on, and a lack of teamwork. And I think those are some of the telltale signs of an organization that has an accountability problem. And I would imagine then that ultimately results in an organization, it, it impacts the organizational performance. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. And I think one of the one of the key symptoms that you'll see that I talked about is is teamwork. And when people are trying to avoid accountability, what they're doing is they're, you know, anytime there's a problem, they tend to just kind of deflect it elsewhere. And when they deflect it elsewhere, that elsewhere tends to be another human being. And when that other human being gets blamed, well, they get pissed off and that damages the relationship. And I think that's a really huge part of office politics. When you start to peel back the onion of office politics, I think you'll find blame at the very heart of it um, and a lack of accountability where people are saying, no, no, it's not my fault. It's your fault. And and, and you get that lack of uh, lack of teamwork. And we know and the lack of trust. And we know that low trust and poor teamwork doesn't take a genius to figure out that that leads to poor results.